Hi there. We're back again for another day of accountability. Probably one of the most frustrating days ever. Today I was at home, didn't go to the library. I was like, okay, cool. I have a good amount of time to do what it is that I do need. And things started off well. But one major mistake, which has probably been the biggest mistake throughout this whole journey, is not understanding how to deal with frustration. And today was basically the epitome of it. Finally, I've gained a sense of, a sense of consciousness towards the matter at hand. So with that being said, I've learned how to think and approach, think about and approach frustration so that I don't waste too much time and energy. Because at the end of the day, A, burning so much energy while just experiencing this emotion is not really a great use of time, as well as I believe that it isn't healthy. Because the emotion was very strong, you know? And I was conscious that, okay, right now I'm experiencing it. But, yo, I was like, actually, I never want to get here again. Definitely, I can be frustrated, but there's a way of the frustration not taking over you. And that's one thing that I thought of. So I guess it's more so like a three-step process. One is to definitely acknowledge when I hit the wall in terms of understanding. Two is to find a way out. If I can't find a way out, three is to just get it, you know? And I believe this should be done within 10 minutes for effective problem solving. Or else I'll waste three to four hours like I did today. Meanwhile, it's like, yo, I could have just focused on the other stuff that I should have done. So, yeah, there was that. Focused on home stuff, obviously. Home stuff after home stuff. <laughs> Got on two long calls and that was the end of the day. You know, highly ineffective time management today on my part. I'm not even going to lie. I'm not even going to pretend. I'm not even going to off-ramp into conversations about this and that. And I guess this is the point in time where I really feel like I should actively tighten my practice of discipline. Definitely. Definitely. It's, it's, it's definitely an important practice. And now that I talk about it, it helps me strengthen this. Because I've noticed as of late, as I've per se been engaging in better time management and practices and, you know, obviously being more aggressive with my goals right now, it's very important to just tighten my sense of discipline for ultimate progression, especially now that I'm actually dealing with matters that are far more frustrating. I guess this is the second round. Last year was the first round. Well, yeah, obviously let's just say during the last quarter of the year it was the first round of dealing with frustration and i failed hence <laughs> discipline and abstinence but now i'm going to turn things around for sure and deepen my sense of discipline so that's about it honestly